AppSense policy allows us to package once and then deliver that same package with various different configurations to a user on the fly, no matter what the delivery mechanism or the application packaging technology. So take, for instance, an AppV package with Microsoft Word in it. We can put the language packs in that package and then deliver a single package and then dependent on certain conditions in AppSense policy we can decide what language the user has. So I start up my copy of Word here for my user and it's delivered in in French so we can see the various French menus here. If I now exit Word and log off I make a change to my user so here's my user in the French group change that to a different group so let's select Russian my users now in the Russian group so we've changed our condition we're going to log in again with the same desktop same package with the same user and this time word will be delivered in Russian this is due to our condition that we have which is the AD group but we can use many different conditions like IP addresses and clients and things I take my copy of Word and I stream that in again and this time the user interface is delivered in Russian. So what this means is we can package once and deliver this same package to many different languages and users and different OS's and not have the overhead of having to package multiple times. How do we do this? We use a process start trigger that matches all the various executables in the word package. The reason we use process start is so that we only apply this configuration if the user is using that application. If the user doesn't use the application in a session, we don't apply it. Inside this, we're then using a condition to say only do once in a session. This is to cater for users opening and closing applications. We don't need to keep applying these settings. And then we manipulate the registry. So for our French user, we're setting certain values to 1036, and that gives the French UI. For our Russian user, we set certain values to 1049, and that gives our Russian UI. That's all there is to it. 